This week's spring planting tour takes us to the farm of Andy Brueggemann in St. Henry. We milk about 100 cows, um, feed uh, grain still through a computer feeder, and feed a lot of hay during the summer and into uh, until about January or so, we feed all baleage. We bale hay around 50% moisture and then uh, wrap the shrink wrap around it, silage it that way. We got probably about 25% of our hay done. Um, a lot of our neighbors probably got 75% of it done. We just kind of started at it slow this week and with the fields being wet enough here, we received uh, around three inches of rain last week, so uh, hay's really thick, pretty much matted down, and um, we didn't want to go at it too hard, afraid we might make a few tracks in the field. Andy feels good about the progress he's made so far this spring. We're way ahead of schedule according to normal, and crop's still not blooming or nothing much, only just here and there a few blooms on it, so we're not too worried of where we're at right now. We're happy. It's damp enough. I noticed yesterday we was bailing near a neighbor's field, and I seen he was chopping, and I could see he had some tracks there, too. A rain shower did come through the area within about five miles of his farm. Yeah, we were very fortunate. That's why we ain't got a lot of hay land today. I didn't want to get caught and uh, be sitting there saying, oh shoot, you won't, once you get hay wet, it's always a little more of a headache. You gotta figure out what you're gonna do with it, whether you're gonna tether it or what you're gonna, you know. When you wet bale like this, you cut it, and about 24 hours later, you come back and you can rake it up and, and bale it. And so you kind of hopefully try not to get too brave and try to beat your windows, you know. One of his most faithful helpers is his dad. He's 91 and a half. He loves running the V-rake there. Does a real well job and stuff. So keeps him, I guess you'd say, keeps him in good health. Keeps him out of sitting around the house and not doing nothing. And my brother helps me along a lot. And uh, he's here in Paul Menor today. He's getting that moved out to the fields. Well, on some of the hay that we bailed yesterday. And then, uh, we got a couple of high school boys that help us along a little bit on the weekends here or there. Andy and his wife Lori's four children actually nominated them to be a stop on our tour and we're very excited to have us there on their first day of summer vacation. And we enjoyed spending time with such an outstanding farm family.